What's the oldest piece of history you know about Flanders? Did you know Tongeren in Flanders has a claim to fame with a rather famous Roman general? Well, this is a legend you need to hear. Today I'll take you back, way back, to a time when life was still peaceful. This is probably the oldest story there is to tell about Flanders. And it's about expats, like you. These expats really stuck around and were keen on making a lasting impression. They started building walls, roads and even sewer systems. I'm talking about the Romans, of course. And the first Roman to set foot here really was a headliner, Julius Caesar himself. Once upon a time, between 58 BC and 50 BC, Julius Caesar was conquering Gaul to help finance his political career. This was not a piece of cake. He was confronted with several uprisings by the local tribes. Caesar, in his report on the conquest of Gaul, referred to these tribes as Belgae, Belgians, and says they were the bravest of all, led by a guy called Ambiorix. Now Ambiorix really gave Caesar a hard time. He defeated a Roman legion and 15 Roman cohorts, a total of 7,200 Roman soldiers. But in the end, of course, these guys were no match for the Roman army. Ambiorix's tribe was defeated and wiped off the face of the earth. And Ambiorix, he supposedly fled and nobody heard of him ever again. Now what is true about this story? Caesar might have mentioned the bravery of the bell guy because he encountered serious difficulties in conquering the region. And his report is the only source historians have on Ambiorix. Did he write this just to make his victory shine all the more brightly? To explain his serious losses of human life? Did he make up a villain as a worthy adversary? Of course, someone's villain can become someone else's hero. When the state of Belgium was created, naturally they referred to Caesar's bell guy, and Ambiorix became their headliner. So they gave him a statue. Ambiorix had the benefit that nobody knew much about him. We don't even know if he resembles this statue at all. But here he stands, our hero. Forever the embodiment of resistance against oppression. But also mysterious question mark like Robin Hood. <laughs> 